Now there's three things, and I'm closing. There's three things that you must do. Five things God did, three things you must do. Verse 7 said, so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together. Bone to his bone. The first thing you got to do, you got to prophesy to activate your vision. If Ezekiel would have never opened up his mouth and declared what God told him to declare, there would not have been any movement in the valley. But I heard God say that those dead dreams, those dead ideas, those dead intentions, those dead visions, you got to start prophesying. Because as you prophesy, God said he's getting ready to perform an overnight surgery. Some of y'all believe in God for things to come together real fast. Do I have anybody in here that needs something like quick, fast, and a hurry? If you need it quick, fast, and a hurry, God said prophesy. Because your goals, your dreams, your intentions are scattered on the open floor. But if you want dreams to come back together, if you want children to come back together, if you want household to come back together, God said you got to. I hear you, God. God said if you're serious about this, and all I need is 30 because 30 is the remnant that God's going to use tonight. Who's my 30? Who's my 30? Oh, I want to see my 30. I heard God said, if the 30 really know that God is going to do something overnight, the Bible said in Isaiah 66, 6 and 7, as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her child. Then here's the exciting thing, Clayton. He said, who heard such a thing? Can a nation be born overnight? But then it said, as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her child. I heard God say that the 30 that really need something quick, fast, and hurry, he said, take 30 seconds to prophesy. Now, in prophesying, you can't be cute. Yea, I say unto thee, this is what I want. Yea, I say unto thee, this is none of that. Yea, I say unto thee. But I heard the Bible say that the kingdom of God suffereth. I thought I had a radical crowd. I thought I had a third of this and they need something quick, fast, in the hurry. And the violent... Now, if you really want it, I want you to get a violent prophecy. And a violent prophecy wars in the heaven. A violent prophecy begins to break things down. For the next 30 seconds, my 30 people, I want you to prophesy and declare. Because God said, when you prophesy, he's getting ready to bring it to pass. Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. It's my season. It's my time. It's my year. Oh, yeah. It's my yeah. It's my hour. It's my moment. I need my miracle. Uh, I dare you to prophesy. Now, when you feel like you're getting tired, that's when it really have to kick in. When you feel the muscles aching in your body, you know you got some life back. Because when the muscles start moving, you got productivity. I dare you to prophesy. Yeah, I hear, I hear a remnant, I hear a remnant. I hear a remnant, I hear a remnant, 
I hear remnant that has encountered God. You're prophesying now. You're telling God what you want. You're telling God what you need. You're telling God, I'm coming out of this valley. I'm interrogating my environment. Oh, take it a step further. Start walking around your territory and start interrogating your environment. Start telling your environment what you want it to produce. I dare you to start walk. I dare you to start walk. <laughs> 